Tomorrow LB, and I'm here with another Japanese subscription box for you. And that box today would be -na 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 Japan Crate, December 2015 edition. So let's have at it, shall we? Right. So we've got looks like some good stuff in here, like I haven't seen before. So that's always nice. So, what do we have first? We have a tube. It says melon soda. I'm not a big fan of melon, but we'll see. Now this actually is, this is quite interesting looking. I swear it looks like, you know, an oxygen tank for like a scuba diver or something. I don't know. Um, this is called Patchy Shua Dynamite Melon Soda. A tasty spin on classic melon soda. Drink it straight from the bottle or try freezing it for a fun, icy experience. Hmm. I don't know. I just put it in the fridge. So perhaps I won't get the whole experience. I guess I'm going to cut it. Do we break? Do I break this off? I'm not quite. Oh, yeah. Is... Do you drink it this way? Let me see. Sometimes they have a little bit more explanation. Doesn't look like it. Mm, that's too bad. Okay, well, I'm not quite sure what... I mean, it looks like you could twist this off or something. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, maybe two of you could drink it at once? I, I don't... No, that's probably not it. What ifs? It's going to be messy no matter what type of feeling. Ah, ooh, it's kind of gelatinous. Ugh. Okay, look at that. A little jelly. Hmm, a little sticky. Mm. All right, so it's not like completely a soda. It's like a jelly soda. Um, and it's so mild. I mean, you can taste the melon. You know, but generally, in my experience, Japanese flavored melon stuff is very, very mild. So, yeah, you can just... It's weird. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's good. I mean, I guess if the flavor was different, I'd probably, you know, sit here and chow down on it. But, I mean, it's okay. It's um, just really mild. So, um, anybody who likes mild flavored melon soda, this will be right up, or melon flavored anything for that matter. This will be right up your alley. All right, let's stick it over here and hope it doesn't fall. It's probably gonna fall. <laughs> okay, so next up is something I'm really looking forward to, uh, just from the picture on the bag, and that would be this. And it is black bean and soy sauce scones. These scones combine grilled cone, corn <laughs> and black beans with a hint of soy sauce. This perfect balance of salty and savory flavors make for a uniquely tasty snack. It says, take a look at page 12 to learn more. Hmm. So this bag or flavor, I guess, will release in 1987. I don't know. It smells like a spice of some sort. It just looks like a Cheeto, basically. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Yeah. I like this. It's good. It's, um, it's a mild flavor. Um... There's no real, like if you gave this to me, I wouldn't be able to tell you what the flavors were. It's a smoky kind of savory flavor. I mean, I would probably say like barbecue or something or, you know, but I wouldn't say that it tastes like soy sauce, maybe, but it's so slight. <clears throat> Not sure about black beans. I don't really eat black beans too much, so I couldn't tell you, but, um, I would say it's more like barbecue, but it's not sweet, which is good because I don't like sweet barbecue. I'm one of those rare people that doesn't like sweet barbecue. 
but it's really good no matter what. I mean, I'm definitely going to eat the rest of these because uh, one, I'm hungry, and two, they're pretty good. So, all right, next up, we have it's a DIY kit. This looks really cute, and here it is. This is cute Tororin Parfait DIY. One of the cutest and tastiest DIY kits around. This thick, rich strawberry parfait comes with a pink candy topping and icing. Add your own candies and toppings to make it even more amazing. Check page 17 for details. So they give you really good instructions, too, on how to do it, which is always nice. In English. <clears throat> All right. So here is something powdery. Something cola-y. Uh, it's called, if I can find it, mm -hmm -hmm. is that it? No, that's not it. Moco Moco? Is that it? Awa Moco Moco? Mix these powders with water to create fizzy, fun, drinkable creations. Possible flavors include strawberry, melon, and banana. Am I looking at the wrong thing? think I am. Hmm, this is cray cray. Um, I'm pretty sure it's this though because it's a powder. I don't know. Well, why don't we just test it out on our tongue, shall we? It's a powder. Ooh, pretty coley. Ooh, oh god. Oh. Oh man, it's good. It's really tart. I mean, obviously, I should be mixing this in a in a drink, but I'm not going to do it right now for lack of time. But um, yeah, it's good if you like bitter. I mean, I'm assuming that the water will um even it out. Man, that's some bitter stuff or sour. I guess would it be bitter or sour? I guess sour. Yeah. All right, so we mix that in. That's really weird because, you know, there's pictures of three different things right there, and the cola is not one of the flavors that they include, but I know that's the right one. Oh, who knows? Okay, next thing up. Looks like a long gummy thing. Here it is. This is called Nagi Ai Sawagumi Orange. Sour gummy. That sounds like sour gummy, doesn't it? This sour gummy tape is coated in sugar and has delicious orange taste. It's long enough to share with friends, but tasty enough to eat by yourself. Good, because I don't have any friends here with me. Just you guys. Alright, let's see here. So we just have our... It's a long, like probably almost a foot long gummy. Mmm. Mmm. I like that. It's not too sweet, because I don't like orange, especially sweet orange. I don't like that. I don't like a tart. I like all my flavors tart. You know me by now. Um. It's good, yeah. Not too sweet, not too tart. And most people would like this, I think. It's good. Mmm. Next thing up is some Pocky. <clears throat> so this is called Pocky Demitas. A new Pocky made from high quality seasonal ingredients. This limited edition treat is only available for a short time in Japan. Shorter Pocky sticks coated in a dark and luxurious chocolate that goes great with black coffee. Hmm. All right, well, as usual, I just have my usual standard water. So I'll have to see how it goes with that. High quality seasonal ingredients. Okay. So it's got some thick dark chocolate over a cocoa chocolate stick. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, this is dark chocolate. Mm hmm. It's good. If you don't like dark chocolate, you won't like it. If you do, You'll like this. I like it. Very nice. 
I feel like it's almost missing nuts or something like, you know, it would be good with almonds. Hmm. All right, so here we have a giant bag. <clears throat> and I believe this is what we were missing in our last month's box. So we got that email notification that I told you about where they said um, they gave us two extra um, snacks that weren't on the, um, on the list because they couldn't get these. And these are Fujia lollipops. These traditional fruity lollipops are a favorite with Japanese children. Simple yet satisfying. Flavors include orange, grape, apple, and strawberry. Okay. A whole bag. I wish I liked lollipops more. All right, so what do we got here? Mm, I guess I'll probably take the grape. Here's a grape. So here's all the different flavor colors. And since they don't have cherry, which is my go-to for lollipop flavors, um, or chocolate if it's a seized candy sucker, if you know what I'm talking about, um, I will take the grape. Hmm. Hmm. I kind of don't like this, I have to say. It's got some weird funky aftertaste. Or during taste. I don't know. I don't know. And for me, it's like obscuring the taste of the grape. I, I guess I had high hopes that this was like a tart grape, and it's just kind of a, a nondescript grape. Eh. I don't like it. All the hype for nothing. Figures. Now, um, we have this, which is a little capsule gachapon toy, and it is The Legend of Zelda. <clears throat> this is a bonus item for the premium crate uh, owners like myself. Yay! So, it says, it's dangerous to go out there alone. Take this. Link and his buddies are making their way to your crates this month. We've included one of 11 different figurines to go along with our Zelda-themed Segoy crate this month. Now, the Segoy crate, um, as I've explained before, if you've been watching uh, any of my videos, at least the J Japan crate ones, is a giant crate of um, generally non-edible prizes. I mean, there are some, now that I look at it, there are some uh, snacks in it, but mostly it's like really amazing stuff. Like the Segoy crate for this month um, and before I get into what it's in, what's in it, um, just so you know, anybody who subscribes to a Japan Crate um, gets entered into the um, lottery, I guess, to win the Segoy Crate. So everybody who, who is getting one will have a chance to get a Segoy Crate. So this month they've got a lot of uh, Legend of Zelda stuff. I guess you know, that's what they said it goes, the capsule toy it goes along with. It says they've got the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask Skull Kid figurine. Legend of Zelda Manga Box, set volumes 1 through 10, Giant Chocolate Pocky, Nintendo 3DS XL, Majora's Mask Edition. Wow, that's amazing. The Legend of Zelda Link, the Wind Walker, Nendoroid? Nendoroid. I guess that's some kind of figure. Um, the Legend of Zelda Backpack, Link Shield, The Legend of Zelda Monopoly, Collector's Edition, Doraemon Plush, Okakaki Aquarium Pictures. Holiday bonus items, Majora's Mask, full-size replica, iPad, mini retina display, and Doraemon iPad mini case. Wow, that's amazing. You can see all the stuff that you can win. I mean, this is, I don't know, probably maybe close to $500 worth of stuff. So, that's pretty cool, I have to say. So, let us see which Legend of Zelda figurine they got. Uh oh, mine has no head. <laughs> oh, okay, you put it together. All right, I was worried. I was like, oh, it's broken, and I didn't get a chance to show you guys. Okay, so it's Link. Um, it looks to me, I'm not an expert on Legend of Zelda. Last time I played Legend of Zelda, um, it was on a Super Nintendo. I played Legend of Zelda: A Link to the Past, which was a great game. Um, but yeah, so there's like eleven, or there's twelve different things, and like a mystery one. But there. It seems to me there's just two that are Link. The rest are characters that I don't really know. Um, but this is definitely Link. So let me put them together. Do we stick them right there? Yeah, okay. Do we put this on his back? 
possibly. Yes, yes we do. Okay, I'm just assembling him right now. Do we do that? What the heck? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it's Link and he's got... Um, like a pipe thing? A flute? Pan flute? Something? I don't know, it's a flute. So there it is. It's a really cute little thing you just put together. It comes in pieces, obviously, to fit in that tiny little capsule. So there it is. He's playing the flute, I guess. This is number two. So I got number two out of 12, I guess. Cool. I have to put him back in the display somewhere. Neat. All right, so next up, we have another drink. It's uh, two drinks this month. <clears throat> So we have this, it's called Lifeguard. Celio Lifeguard Drink. This super life drink contains seven plus vitamins and amino acids and brings quite a jolt with it. A nice mix of honey and royal jelly makes this drink tasty and smooth. Check out the featured candy page to learn more. Okay. Made in a variety of flavors and also comes in individually wrapped jellies that are meant to give you a quick boost and the ability to focus when needed. <laughs> okay. Uh, lemon lime flavor. Okay, good. Great. Good, great, wonderful. This is unique. Hmm. Yeah. Royal jelly. Hmm. It's lemon lime, but there's... Maybe it's the royal jelly? There's a, a wang in it. I can't even really tell you what it is but yeah I mean it's mostly like a lemon lime I can definitely see how this would be like a thirst quencher um and it's got some royal jelly I don't know maybe that is the thing that gives it the wang the royal jelly mm. it's okay I mean I could probably get to the end of that without you know a fuss if I was really thirsty okay so our next thing up is this it is Bad Kid Beer. Not actually beer, but a magic powder that creates a creamy grape soda when mixed with water. Watch for the fun, tingling sensation on your tongue as you sip it. Hmm, interesting. Now, I made, um, I don't know, a couple months ago, I did a DIY, um, a real quick DIY video on the, um, what was his name? Oh my God, it's totally escaping me right now. The fake something Chan. Oh, I can't remember. Dude, I can't believe it. Anyways, fake beer came with a little, like, mug, fake plastic mug. And you just basically added water, which is exactly what this is. So probably I could take the mug that I got in that one and the and empty it in there and probably make the beer. Now, I believe that tasted kind of like an apple cider, that fake beer that I made. Um, but this one tastes like grape. So grape I do love, as most of you know. So, yeah. I'll have to try that. Now, we have some Umaibos here. Three of them. And I love me some Umaibos. So, um, we've got three that say cheese, tonkatsu, and veggie salad Umaibo. <clears throat> okay, let's see if we can figure out which is which. Sometimes it indicates. Sometimes it doesn't, and this is one of the times it doesn't. Hmm. It's got some pictures on it. I, I really couldn't tell you. Maybe this is the veggie salad, and the only reason I say that is because it's got a green background. Let's try it out. So it says we've included three different uh, flavors of popular Umaibo snacks. Sticks. Tonkatsu, which is pork cutlet, veggie salad, and cheese. Each one has a very unique and satisfying taste. Try all three and tell us which one was your favorite. You know I will. Hmm. Hmm. Looks like already broken. Hmm. Hmm. I would say that wasn't the veggie salad. It tastes very vegetable-y. Garlicky. That's good so far. Hmm. Too bad it's all broken up. I'm making a mess. Oh, okay. This has to be the tonkatsu pork cutlet because there's a pig on it. 
right there. Yeah, I probably is. I know it's not cheese, so it's definitely the uh, pork cutlet. I'm not a pork fan. I mean, I like bacon, but otherwise I stare it clear. I mean, I'll, I have ham too, but I don't go out of my way for either. Um, I'll give this to my husband. I believe he liked it before, so yeah. Now I need a little drinky. Excuse me. All right, so the last one is cheese. I know I like this one. I've had it before, and I yeah, I enjoy it. Mmm, mmm, good. I mean, they're all really good. We've had a few that we didn't like, but that's like I think it was the uh, shrimp and mayo, and that's because the shrimp was just so overpowering that we just couldn't we just couldn't deal. So the rest of the uh, umaibos are always pretty darn good, no matter what. So we've come to the end of the box. We have just one more thing, and it is a full bag of something that looks like cola flavor. This is called Hia Shua Cola, a cola flavor adventure with three different levels, fizzy, soothing, and gummy. Each bag also includes one big tropical flavored hard candy. That's interesting. <clears throat> so let's open the bag up and see if we can figure it out. Tropical flavored hard candy. All right. Um, well, what I see is three different kinds here. Here they are. They've got, they're clearly marked so you know. Each bag also includes one big tropical flavored hard candy. I don't see a one big tropical flavored hard candy. Um, yeah, okay. I don't know. Okay, so let's see. I guess we'll just grab one. This will say fizzy, soothing, and gummy. I don't feel like any of these are gummy. I'm pushing on all of them, and they're all hard candy. I'm, I'm not quite sure what the deal is, but. <clears throat> well, I picked up this yellow one. Oh, it's weird. It's got little brown, tiny ball things in this clear ball. Giant clear ball. I don't know. Mm. Good. Maybe this is gummy. Maybe it's supposed to be gummy. This one looks like it's got some sugar on the outside. But again, I can't pinch it. I don't think any of these are gummies. This isn't. Hmm. Mmm, it's good though. Let me spit it out and I'll try the others. Okay, so the next one is this red one. I'm assuming that was either fizzy or soothing. <laughs> okay, here's one that's just brown. This is probably fizzy. Not because it's fizzing in my mouth, because it's not. but it's a little bit more tart than the one I just had. So I would say that one uh, before was soothing. And again, I can't chew it, so it's not gummy. Hmm. Okay, next one. It's good. This last one is, a, is the biggest one, and it's kind of a pink and yellow uh, blended looking ball with some sugar on top. Ooh. Hmm. One big tropical flavor hard candy. I don't know what they're talking about. Maybe this is it. Hmm. Because I only see three different kinds. This is the tropical flavored one. The bag has two other, aside from the uh, clear one that had the brown balls in it, there's a dark brown and a light brown. So, huh. 
That one was the tropical flavor one. Um, there's yellow. Oh, I see. Okay, I see the difference. Really subtle. Okay, so we have, here are the three different ones. One is in a silver ended bag that looks almost identical to this yellow one right here. And then we have, of course, the orangey ready one. So, um, now I have had the yellow bagged one. So here's the other one. Okay. This must be the gummy. Well, it's not gummy. Mm -mm. Hmm. Let's see. Fizzy, soothing, and gummy. Oh my gosh, this is so... This is a mystery trying to figure this out. I don't think any of these are gummy. I might not know much, but I'm pretty sure that none of these are gummy. I don't know that this is fizzy or soothing. Honestly, I, I guess I suck at this. I can't tell you. I don't know. If you like cola and you want to sit there and try a whole bunch of different flavors of cola or um, levels, that's how they say it, levels, levels of cola, you'll like this. Mm. Mm -hmm. It was good. I mean, because, you know, I do like cola flavor. Uh, okay, so anyways, now on to my favorite thing. Oh, uh, yeah, it would be the black bean and soy sauce scones. Yummy. Yeah. All right, um, I guess that's it for now. Bye.